it's added right here. Um, I'll put to you whether you knew the nuclear features of papillary thyroid cancer. Uh, so here's a picture of the case and even on low power, first things first, you, we see the papillary architecture. This is classic. Um, papillary cancer is named for this. However, as you should be aware, there are multiple different variants or morphological variants of papillary cancer. The most common other one being a follicular variant. Um, the nuclear features should be apparent even on low power. On higher power, um, we can go through some of those features. Um, essentially what happens is that the, the nuclear chromatin clears, so we get these optically clear cells uh, where the chromatin is either pushed to the side or it's just diluted. Um, the other major thing that happens is that the nucleus becomes a bit like a partly empty sac. Um, so this accounts for various uh, nuclear features in papillary cancer. It accounts for the irregular nuclear outlines. It accounts for the nuclear grooves, just as the parts of the sac kind of start overlapping each other in areas. Um, and it also accounts for the, the nuclear pseudo-inclusions. Now, this latter one is kind of listed as one of the, the nuclear features of papillary cancer. However, it's really very difficult to see and it's often not apparent. What you're relying on is getting a transverse cut. I'm going to try and pick a cell here that it might happen to. Uh, you get a transverse cut through a cell like that straight across there where you have nucleus and then a divot within the nucleus. So I've got this picture here. This is almost the best I could find. This is another area, just while we're at it, this is an area within this tumour that has more follicular architecture. Um, still got the same nuclear features of optical clearing and, and grooves and, and irregular nuclear outlines and crowding of cells. This is the cell that I'm talking about where it, it's called a pseudo-inclusion for a good reason. It's because it really is not a true inclusion, it's just a transverse cut through a cell that might look like that and we're cutting it across there so we get a bit of chromatin on one side, a bit of chromatin on the other but some cytoplasm in between and that's kind of what we see. Of course the other um, feature of cancer that we'll, uh, papillary cancer that we'll see on higher power and even low on power are somomatous calcifications. So each of the pictures I've shown you have shown those classic features um, except maybe the pseudo inclusion. So the, the crowding, nuclear irregularity, optical clearing, they're all the very, very common things and things like pseudo inclusions and somomatous calcification may or may not be there.